to start off fishing, just go to your nearest fishing vendor, which can be seen as a fishing icon on the map, or you can click on the Find NPC icon and click on Fishing. This will take you directly to the vendor himself. Once you're at the vendor, go ahead and buy yourself a fishing rod. It should be around about 500 silver. After you've bought it, you can now fish at any body of water. To cast your line, just go up to any body of water and equip your fishing rod. With the fishing rod equipped, press space to cast your line. After you casted your line, you're going to have to wait a bit until some fish bites on your line. Then you have to play two mini games to get the fish. The first mini game is that you have to press space when the bar is blue on the right hand side. Then you have to press a series of letters in the correct order. Press R to collect your fish. You can also AFK fish if you just cast your line. The game will automatically take care of any fish you catch, although this will be much slower than actively fishing. You can also tick the box that allows the game to delete any trash items that you get. This is very useful if you are going to overnight fish and have very limited inventory space. To sell your fish, make sure that your fish have been caught in the same place that you've contributed to, and that node is connected to the node which you're trying to sell the fish in. For example, if I've caught my moray at Loivano Island, I have to make sure that this island is connected to the node which I'm trying to sell to, in this case, Velia. Go to the trade manager and click on sell. I recommend to bargain every time you sell your fish since it increases the price by 10% although it costs 5 energy to do, and it can fail. Once you've successfully bargained, just either sell them individually or sell all your fish. There are 4 fishing resource indicators in Black Desert Online. There is Abundant, Average, Not Enough, and Exhaust Fishing Levels. I recommend fishing at an average or higher area to minimize your fishing time. If your zone is below average, I recommend either going out into the ocean or finding a new spot on land that will give you an abundant area. Also, if you fish in the middle of the ocean, it's a lot harder to catch trash items such as seaweed, fish hooks, and fish bones. There are also dynamic yellow fishing hotspots indicated with seagulls and jumping fish. These hotspots require a high fishing level to spot and only give you yellow or orange fish. The higher the fishing skill, the more chance of you being able to see one of these spots. These spots only last for around about 30 minutes before they move again, so you can't really AFK fish on them. To craft more fishing rods, you have to find a tool workshop in a town. Velia has a level 2 tool workshop, so there you can start off by making old fishing rods, thick fishing rods, and steel rods. In Heidel, there is a level 3 tool workshop, and there you can make the golden and the special regional fishing rods. The regional fishing rods all come with their own special abilities and can be repaired and enchanted with weapon blackstones. But be aware that some of these rods have level restrictions that you have to meet first. Once you reach professional 1, you can start harpoon fishing. To harpoon fish, make sure you're in deep water or else you won't be able to find any fish. Equip your harpoon and press space to start looking for a fish. After a while, you should be able to see a fish, and press space again to start the minigame. In this minigame, you have to hit the fish before you run out of harpoons and run out of time. Once you've successfully killed the fish, press R to receive your reward. To make more harpoon guns, you have to go to Ilya Island's tool workshop. This tool workshop is the only workshop where you can get harpoon guns made. There are two types of harpoon guns in the game. There's a thin harpoon and a thick harpoon. As you catch more fish, you'll get more fishing experience and gain more fishing levels. First, you'll start off as a beginner from 1 to 10, then an apprentice, skilled, professional, artesian, master 1 to 30, and then guru. As you gain fishing levels, you'll be able to use more fishing gear such as fishing clothing, different kinds of rods, and fishing floats. Floats can be equipped as a secondary weapon while fishing. These floats can also be enhanced with weapon blackstones and repaired at blacksmiths back to 50 durability. The first float you'll come across is the ash tree float. This float will be able to be unlocked at fishing level professional 1 and it will have a special effect that when worn it will increase the chance to catch a bigger fish. The second float is the maple tree float and this will be able to be unlocked at fishing level artesian 1. 
The special effect for this one is that it'll have a higher chance of catching a rarer fish when worn. The maple tree float is probably the float that you'd want the most, as the rarity of fish also correlates with the price of the fish, where the size is just something to brag about in your fishing log. Although keep in mind that these floats don't act like weapons and their maximum enchantment level is only plus 10. There are three different types of fishing costumes in the game. You can get the level specific fishing costumes, which will get as a reward for leveling up fishing. You could spend real life money to get the fish suit from the pearl store, or you can spend silver on the marketplace or craft them yourselves silver embroidered fishes clothes, which in my opinion are the best option. These clothes can be enchanted to give special effects. You can also cook and eat consumables that will increase your fishing ability. With a higher fishing ability, you'll reduce the time to catch a fish per cast. But keep in mind that you can't have more than the maximum fishing ability of 5. You can check how much fishing ability by pressing P and having a look at the fishing ability section. Finally, fish have expiry dates. So make sure you sell them to the nearest vendor before 24 hours or the fish will be worthless. The price of the fish will decrease proportional to the time it's been out within 24 hours. Hopefully now you can understand the core mechanics of fishing in Black Desert Online. If you're still interested, have a look at our written guide on the Black Desert Foundry's website or the link down in the description below.